Welcome to a special Buzz Week podcast, everybody. My name is Jennifer DeLucy, and I am the author of the Light Series trilogy. I am here with three special guests, William Maddox. Hello. Christian Wright. Hello, everyone. And a third person who I'm not going to introduce yet because I'm excited and I want to build some suspense. Um, but um, I am here to talk about the Light Series trilogy and... Um, get their uh, insights into the world of sentience and seers whose lives these books are based upon. But first, I do want to mention that though we have kind of male representation here today, uh, these stories are told from the points of view of two very strong female figures, two very different opposing sentience in your lives, gentlemen. And Nicole Abbott and Lily Hunt. You'll have to read the books to find out who's who and what's what. But these books are very strong with the female empowerment and um, with 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 the idea of being able to protect yourself and come into your own without needing a man to take care of you, save you, or teach you, but rather as the man being the side-by-side complementary role, um, one for the other. Would you agree with me? 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt, yes. 100%. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're told from female points of view. Exactly. Right. So, Christian, you know, without further ado, if you would just talk to the listeners about what Ascension is, where you may or may not be able to find one, and kind of what you do. Oh, certainly. Uh, as a sentient, it is common for us to have paranormal abilities. It simply means that our lives, our souls have been around the block many, many times. So we have a sixth, seventh, and eighth sense, so to speak. Um, and so, you know, we have to kind of live a bit secretively because the world is really not ready for people with paranormal abilities to come out in the open so we tend to be secretive we do have our own culture society it's been around for quite a while we are just human like you um but you know like i said our souls have been around long enough that uh, our gifts are very predominant and obvious and so we try to use them in a way that is beneficial to the world Mm -hmm, because there are some very scary kind of dark things around that people don't know about that you keep us safe from william yes there are all kinds of things in the world that people don't know about and really truly don't want to know about so you know we take care of those um and you know i don't want you to lose sleep at night so i won't get too specific about it (laughs) Appreciate that. Okay. Well, then on a lighter note, let's talk about the new covers, guys. Um, what do you think I about that? I love the new covers. I think they are stunning. I think, however, Not they bad. would be more stunning if oh, perhaps here it comes. Who I had been on the covers instead. <laughs> you know, it's lovely. You think Lily and Nicole are gorgeous, but... Your face is you know, better, right? I do have a rather lovely face. Of I, course. I think from all angles, right. you couldn't have gone wrong, really. Right. Yeah, yeah, it, it figures it would, it would have to come down to something like that with you, Christian. Why it never do you fails. even ask his opinion on anything? Well, because my opinions are bloody well, brilliant. I've been asking myself that same question for that a long rude. time now. Rude. Anyway, back on topic. I want to ask you guys, while I have you here, just about your individual experiences um, in the Sears and Sentient world. Um, Christian, I want you to tell us, you know, one individual experience you had that you feel has changed your life, and then William, I'll have you do the same thing. So, you know, kind of without giving your stories away, tell us one thing that's happened that changed your life. Mm, You're getting deep about this, all right? Well, I would have to say that losing my father changed my life. Um, It impacted me for a very long time uh, in in a very great number of ways, uh, some of which I've managed to overcome, others I don't know that I ever will. Um, But you lose someone that you love more than anything else in this world, um, it will shape you, it will alter your your heart and your spirit for the rest of your days, for better or for worse, usually for both. Um, I agree with that completely, 100% from personal experience, I understand. Um, And then William, what about you? Um, For me, I would say it is losing my humanity um, without giving away kind of a huge aspect of our lives um, in this podcast. You know, losing my humanity and everything that tumbled forward after it was a major factor in 
in everything um, that I do and probably will be for as long as I live. In fact, I know that it will be for as long as I live. Okay. So I want to hear about your gifts. Um, Christian um, and William, you have endowments as you call them, but they are gifts. So Christian, you've got one, right? Yes, I do. Indeed, I have a gift. And William, also, you have... Yes, I have a gift or two. Okay, so William, tell us what your gift is specifically. Um, Well, I am what's called a healer, which means that I can, well, do exactly what it sounds like without going into too much detail, because I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to take no away the spoilers. mystery. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I appreciate that. Um, and then Christian, how about you? Yes, uh, I am a combatant, and you know, by the nature of the word combatant, it means sort of warring or battling. And um, again, you know, in keeping with our theme of not giving things away, I will, you know, kind of leave it at that. Um, the readers to read the books to understand the true meaning of what what a combatant does and what it is but it is a psychic gift um, Mm. that translates into the physical as well so how's that for vague that was perfect actually that was exactly what i was looking for thank you very much you're welcome excellent now you'll notice that the first book in the series is named seers of light and that is because of you know the kind of wisest um you can reach in this life beyond being a sentient is a seer status and that simply means that that your soul's been around so darn long that basically you know you've got a sight that others don't have and i don't want to give too much away because i you know i want to speak to our special guest um who i have here the first time i've ever had a seer um visit the podcast and so it's kind of a great honor Calliope Smith is a seer. Calliope, you were born in Ireland, is that correct? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> um, my father was a, a sheep farmer in a wee small farm. And um, she sits upon the Council of Seers, and she also leads a group. Um, and she has come to kind of discuss, you know, the role of a seer very briefly and, um, and her feelings on the books. So, Calliope please take it away. Certainly. Uh, My name is Calliope Smith and uh, I am from Ireland but I have done quite a bit of world traveling in my day. Um, I currently reside over um, a group of sentients in the States and um, I will say that the role of a seer is uh, simply to guide them and keep them on the right path. Um, according to what their destiny might be but um, do bear in mind that everyone um, has multiple routes for their destiny and that they can choose Uh, in the end everyone's got a particular you know purpose however and they may achieve it in uh, countless ways and uh, and as a seer it it is not your job to interfere Uh, it's very important that you don't try to interfere but you do offer guidance uh, when ascension has um, sort of stumbled upon their wisdom um, and they need some encouragement or some insight Uh, when they seek out your counsel you give it and otherwise it is frowned upon to to offer it without you know without real justification Um, a seer is simply a sentence that has a soul that's been around the block a whole bunch of times and so you have you know kind of a vision of uh, past and future working together um, in not such a linear way much more circular you know you know I am on a council um, I sit on that council um, and I work with other seers um, and there's a whole society involved it's, it's rather complex it's been around for ages and ages and ages uh, but yes I would recommend that you read the book in order to understand how it really all works um, and do remember that just because uh, someone might you know end up being a sentient or even a seer in this life does not mean that they um, are using it well or being very wise about it uh, as we are all human <laughs> so so you're saying some some seers aren't very good people absolutely absolutely yes that's really depressing <laughs> <laughs> um okay well calliope i know you're very busy and i won't keep you oh well thank you for having me and bless y'all good luck with everything good luck with the books i hope people read them 
I'd hate to think everyone's let you put all their personal dirty laundry and details in <laughs> the of their God, God, yes. <laughs> So would I. Read yeah. the bloody books. Um, but if you are intrigued, you want to learn more about the books and the various adventures of Sentience, I would recommend you start with Seers of Light and work your way through their journeys with them. Just live it yourself. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yes, thank thanks. You. Take care. Bye. Christian, you always got to get the last word in there, I'm don't you? I'm being friendly, for the love of God. Goodbye, everyone.